hello and welcome to a, a stream of Arcage. I suppose that's the only real way you can sort of advertise this. Um, so yeah, we'll be playing a bit of Arcage, we'll be running around, we'll be uh, carrying on from where I left off, which was miraculously destroyed in some sort of smelting accident. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I'm level 10. And yeah, that's basically it. The first ten levels are just basic questing. Do hit, go ahead, do these things. Well done, you've done these things. Have some experience. Go away. Uh, I would show you the first ten levels, but as I said, the video's gone forever. Some some some, some sort of monster ate it or whatever. So instead, I'm just going to be carrying on from level ten, do some questing to find out about the game. If you want to see anything, if you want me to do anything in particular, just let me know. Uh, I'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, firstly, first things first, I'm going to show you how to equip the cape because I know some people have had problems with that. Lucky through World Chat in the past, it comes up almost every day, so I'm going to do it now. So when you guys come to play the game, whenever it's released, you'll know exactly how to do it. You won't have to bother anyone. So what you want to do is you want to go to options, you want to go to game info, scroll all the way down to here where it says backslot priority. Uh, as you can see, priority one is my cloak, therefore that is showing. If I change that to weapons, press the fly. There you go, my weapon is showing now. So, to get your cloak showing, simply, that's that's how it will be. This is how it will look when you get the game. Your weapon is priority one. If you want to show your cloak, go down to game info, you go down to priority one, you change that to cloaks. Apply. And there you go, there's your cloak. Also, if, um, you don't have a cloak, for example if I took my cloak off, it would drop it down to whatever is in the priority 2 slot, if you haven't got priority 2, it's priority 3, and so forth. So that's basically how you do it, now that that's done, let's run around do some stuff, I'll put one of these bags. I've just recently got a mount, as you see you get this at level 10, uh, it follows you around, you can get him out and you can run around, he follows you. Uh, so we're going to do some of this, uh, as you can see we've got a quest here, number 1 on the map. So you resize the map, nice and awkward. I like it on medium. Uh, you can't move this, not to my knowledge anyway. You can move this. Uh, there is a way of moving this. There you go. Hold down shift, you can move this about. Uh, so I'll just put it there. Uh, okay, let's uh, continue on our quest of righteousness. Uh, there's some player farms here. You can see you can, you can pull these up if. If you really wanted to, if you wanted to be a pirate, you'd go around and you're pulling these up. Uh, it, it's, it's a lovely system that if something is ready to be killed or pulled up, a big blue exclamation mark will come up above it, which is just fantastic if you're running around in a rush looking for stuff to pull up. But we're not going to pull anything up today. We'll save that for another another episode, another run around. So we're going to continue on now. We're going to run down towards this number one. Your quest up here. Here, if you've got more than one quest. Someone opening up a world in up a portal, you transfer to world parts of that. Oh shit. There we go. I have just run through a man's portal. I'm now in another part of the world. I have no idea where I am where I am. Um Huh. Just not expecting that to be completely honest with you. Where am I? Oh I'm here. Uh, where I want to be is Here! Ah, oh, he's over got me here. Uh, so if I want to get there... Uh, I want to go to Falcor Plains, so I want to go here. Yeah, okay. Well, there's, been a, there's been a slight setback in the uh, questing, as I am now here. So I will run as fast as I can to where I need to be. Voice gives me a chance to show off a bit more of the map. There is uh, trees, as you can see, trees, trees, plenty of trees. Uh, there's more trees. There's lots of trees. I, uh, trees are very rare. I'm going to say this now. Trees are very rare. Oh, there's a farm. I assume this is where you do the farming quest to begin with. Trees are very rare to come by. First thing everyone did was cut down all the trees. All the trees got cut down straight away. Trees gone. Uh, 
and then you just got to plant your own and hope for the best, really. Trees are the most expensive thing on the auction house to buy for a material, anyway. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think. Oh, okay, I've targeted my land. Anyway, yeah. Uh, as you can see in the chat here, this orange chat, this is a trial. Crashy, Crashy is the defendant. He's trying to get out of going to jail. What are those? No, he's trying to, uh, as you can see, Mythic is the jury. They're going to guilty for a reason. For no reason but guilty. There you go. This is the sort of trial system we have in our cage. If you're on trial, nine times out of ten, you're going to get found guilty. On very few occasions have people been found innocent. So yes, we're going to continue on. We're going to quest a bit. We're going to do some questing. Possibly do some farming. If we can manage to plant the farm. The farming space is very rare to come by as well. But as I said, this is the alpha. Everyone gets somewhere to plant a farm just to test out the systems. In the full release of the game, I think it's reserved for patron players, the planting of the farms initially. I, I'm not sure how it's going to work. We'll have to look on the forum, which of course you can find if you type in Arcage Forum. Because I'm, I'm not linking that. You can find it yourself. Do some, do some dirty work. So we're going to run up here because I did a massive cock up and teleported myself. If you're interested to know what class I am, I am that class. Here you go. Named an abolisher because there's 120 classes in the game due to the uh, unique class trees they have. So I'd say class trees, you can choose three classes and you mix and match whichever one you want. You can be a you can run around as a assassin healer if you wanted to, if that's your thing. You could run around as a mage warrior if you wanted to do that. It's just endless stuff you can do really. Uh, this obviously this combat basic. Melee attacks, kick, shoot. Everyone starts with a bow. Regardless of what class you are, you have a bow. If you're a priest, you have a bow. I'm a warrior. I have a bow. Where my bow is, there it is, I have a bow. Everyone starts with a bow, it's just a thing. Deal with it. If you don't like bows, tough. I mean, you don't have to use it. It can just sit there and give you the skills it gives you. For example, this gives me extra two strength for agility for free spirit. There you go. I don't have to use it, but I still get them. So they, you don't have to use them. Don't bother using them if you're not going to use them. Uh, there you go. I'm back in where I need to be. Where's my tiger? Hey, tiger. Running around, there's a man playing a flute. Come back, flute man. We're gonna we're gonna continue on now. Continue on our journey. The lighting engine is probably one of the nicest engines I've seen for lighting. I'm going to be honest. For example, there's a tree there. The sun is behind it. Look how the light pierces through the tree. Look at the shadow it produces. Absolutely stunning. For a lighting engine, there's a man on a glider. I don't know if I have a glider. Should we find out if I've got a glider? I think we should. I do not have a glider. There you go. No, you learn some every day. Man on a strange mount. I'm oh, sorry, I'm just getting distracted all the time. See, look at the lighting engine. How oh, beautiful is that? Look at the rays coming over my character. Oh, see, if the first episode slash hour would have saved, you would understand why I'm about to do what I'm about to do. But because it didn't, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm going to tell you. Basically, when I see a fire, I pee it out. That's my thing. I do. The fire is now out. I peed on it. Hypothetically. Virtually. Shut up. So now we're going to continue up this road. The maps are simple. It reminds me a lot of Terror. The, the mapping system. Just kicking it in the corner there. You've got all your main routes and then just grass and desert and whatever the hell else in between. Rivers and stuff sometimes. Rivers. Oh, my pet has leveled up. Ooh, that's the thing. Yeah, your pet levels up as you use it. You will come across people doing this. If 
I can work it out. Yes. This is the most common thing you will see in this game. Ever. That people will go offline and just do this, and that annoys people to no end. Look at it, look at it, the clouds as they roll down the hill. Look at the pretty clouds rolling down. I'm assuming that's a cloud and not like a crack den or something. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's, let's assume it's not a crack den. That would ruin that entire theme of the game. Let's run slightly faster. There's definitely a crack den underneath there. Eastern music, for I am in the Eastern Continent. Here I am, Eastern Continent, Western Continent, Northern Continent, PvP, and then Death. Death Sea. Yeah, that's, a pirate. that's a pirate's house, that is. That's where the pirates live. You, there's, a, there's a trade run where you've got to go from your continent to the other continent, and you're not going to do it. Just, it's not going to happen, don't try, don't even bother. Pirates, even your own faction will do you in. They have no shame, no mercy, they will just attack you. Had a friend give it a go, died instantly. Oh no, I tell a lie, they almost got into the sea. So we're gonna jump here. Because I can. Here we are. Let's continue on here. Cooking pot, I've not done any jobs yet, I'm saving that. Moist giant mushroom. That's, that's the best description for a giant mushroom. Mushroom? 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 Mushroom I have ever heard. Look at that, how fantastic is that? Grand moist giant mushroom. Yeah, alright, keep your pants on. There we go. Green quests are your racial quests. They get you special currency that you can spend on recipes and blueprints for things, such as boats, if you want to get the boat, you're going to have to do these quests. Receive! See, these things here, Nui's Tears, they're the same on both sides. Uh, you use them to buy ship glider designs, or the Mirage Island, which is a special island for Mirages. It's natural there, it's just, it's just a Mirage. Get it? No, I'm kidding. Uh, here we go. Two and two. Ooh, I will upgrade that when I get around to it. Let's continue on, this is where we need to be, alright. Defeat the Mist Fiend in the depths of Black Breath Cave. That doesn't sound depressing. Obtain skeletal bone chip from Mist Skeletons. What the fuck was that? From Mist Skeletons. Oh, these things. Ah! Kill it! Here we go. Oh, there's a push in the way! There you go, that's the combat system. I'll, sh I'll show it off a little bit better because that was a bit crap. Here you go. Shoot this thing. Oh, shit. See, some skills aren't locked, some skills just happen in front of you. You can like, just aim them yourself. Other skills are locked, other skills aren't. If I fire my bow, that's locked, I can run around with that. If I want to use this skill, stop going up in front of me. If you want to move, you can move. There's not really much dodging. There is and there isn't. You can sort of dodge, but at the same time, you just can't. If you get shot at, you just gotta hit you. Oh, yeah. There's a man there fighting. Let's kill this man. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, God. There you go. Attacks can hit multiple enemies if you're in the range. Is that attack I did there? 8 of 8, there you go. Uh, I did show off the overachieving thing in the previous video, but as I've said, it's dead, so let's do it again. I assume there's overachieving in this quest. Oh, there is. No, there isn't. Of course there's not. I'm trying to show it off. Oh no, there you go. I had to pick something up. Extra progression, there you go, that's what that stands for. <laughs> so basically, 
So that means you get extra experience for doing more for a quest. If your quest is, for example, hit, uh, collect these eight things, I collected eleven, I get extra experience. So if you to power level, you use the level quickly, then this is what you get. Achieving is usually an extra half of what the initial was. So there you go, I needed to collect 8, so I collected 12, so I got the overachieve, which means that I've overachieved and I'm an overachieving bastard. That's what I am. I'm going to go in here and kill a special man. Special man. I'm assuming he's going to be up there, which means I'm going to go up all the way around there because it's a standard MMO game. So here we are, we're going up. Or down. Oh, there you go. Here's how you climb. Some some things will be able to climb. On the western continent it shows you climbing a tree, on the eastern it shows you climbing a vine. Both are equally similar in every way. Both are equally amazing. <laughs> so here we go, now I'm down there. No idea where I'm doing. I cannot see a thing. Will it be used on the mist feed? Oh, okay. Back up we go! There we go. Back up. Oh, shit. There we go. Back up the top now. We're running. We're running. This is a nice skill. You get the skill from the start. It basically makes you move faster. Uses your mana. But. Oh well. Didn't think about that first time. Just kill first. Critical hits! Oh god, I'm pressing that. There you go. Yeah, as you see there, when you kill something, it comes up with F and G. F is take everything they have on them, G is choose. Choose the things you would like to take. I'll show you that now. I press the F every other time, I'll press G. There you go. It's got six copper and something else. It's rolling away from me. Come back! Uh, see? Physics. Got all of them. The orange names means they'll attack me eventually. Possibly. I assume so. The red names mean instant attack. <laughs> do anymore. As you can see there's an in-game FPS counter just for added features. These other things. There's a day and night cycle. It's currently 4.45. Long I think. Yeah. Game time. I don't know how the game time works out but this day and night cycle goes on. You know, there's also dynamic weather I've seen. I've seen thunderstorms building on the coast. Uh, so all in all it's quite, quite a good game. I will have this because I had the, un the lesser version of it last time. Thank you. Yes, the cutscenes. And it's alpha at all. Don't waste your time. 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 Don't These bags you pick up on things, they basically just give you money. This is a ring, I'm going to equip that. Let's 
stats. Yeah, basically, you can use any weapon as any class. See, I, I'm a warrior type class, but if I want to whip out a staff, and just go mad with a staff, I can do that. I mean, it's no idea it's efficient with my big sword. Just showing off some of the features of the game. God, I've opened the portals. Yeah, basically, mate, what, what I've accidentally opened up, may as well show you. These are the jobs. All the basic ones alchemy, fishing, logging, all that sort of stuff, mining. Then you've got the nice ones, like masonry, tailoring, carpentry, larceny, which is theft. Yes, there is a job and skills for theft. Fantastic. And composition, which is making your own music. I've heard some people running around playing all sorts of music. From game music to uh, movies and all sorts, really. Yeah. Kill it. Kill it with all sorts of fire and skills. Remove the bone from the shaman's cauldron. Ah, I didn't do that, did I? Tut tut tut. Shaman's cauldron. Remove the bone. Why did you put me in there in the first place? Why didn't want it? Horrible chef. Oh, God, what did you do? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what you get for starting with me. Ah, also, mounts are. Two person mounts! Every mount, two person. You can get on it regardless of who you are, what you're doing. That being said, you can't be the other faction and just decide you want to jump on someone's mount. You just can't do that, it's just not right. Just don't do that, you sick. Anyway. Go. Let's continue on now. We've got a quest there. I'm assuming that's going to say kill so many of these things. Yeah, the signboard quests are usually the kill quests, and the NPC quests are usually the uh, standard quests. The poisonous slime befalls evil. Uh, blah blah blah. Slay the poisonous slime. Oh, there you go. Slay the slimes. So the signpost quests are the kill quests. On the plus side, you don't have to go back to receive your reward. You just get it after you finish the quest. So if you're tracking along and you do the quest, it's not a problem. Yeah. Also, as I've mentioned, you can use any uh, weapon. You can also wear any armor as any class. I'm currently wearing leather armor because that's all that my quest NPCs have offered me. And that gives me... Attack speed and range, convenient for the assassin. An increase of all range and range of bows by two meters, so it's not too bad if I used either of those things. Obviously, I'm going to be going to play armor with my fast speed the battle rage or attack all the time. So I'm gonna finish off this quest and then I'm gonna enter the. I just can see the And also, as you saw, I've just finished that quest, so I've been given the reward and the gold. And now I'm going to show you swimming. So, this video is all coming together, everything's just going to plan, not that I've planned everything. Even the underwater light is great, I like it. Deep within the night, there we go. Receive reward. Destroy the unknown machine. Got that unknown machine. How dare you.
Ah, I'm assuming it is that. But no machine. Kill it. Oh, I, I just hammered it. Also, you'll get quests just for entering areas. So, there's that as well. Oh god, what have we got to do? Collect evidence from undead Firin. No! That was surprisingly easy to kill. Let's do that again. Pressing all sorts of buttons. There we go. Let's do this. I'll be uh, streaming these videos. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I stream this on Twitch. Like, probably earlier in the day, if not yesterday. Depending on when you're watching this. Basically, the upload date of this take away either six hours or a day, and that's probably when I streamed it. Uh, I'll probably be streaming all of these episodes because it's just easier that way. So if you want to catch me on Twitch, you're more than welcome. If you don't, screw it. Oh, no. Okay. If there's anything you want me to in particular do, like, you know, just kill a chicken, or even something as cruel as whatever it is you sick people can come up with. Alright, um, we've got our next quest now. Uh, we've got a report to Shaman Dude who is just over here. Talk to him. Thank you. I will watch your Korean cutscene. Psych! Oh, set. Oh, God. Get out of my way. Okay, chill out. Meet great uh, running tiger. Then that is where we shall go. Here is a uh, quest. This is the quest of which you get your tiger. For those interested, you probably know. I'll probably take this video until I have no idea how long we've been streaming now. Slash recording. I'll probably take this video till about level. Well, I'll call it 12, we'll cut it short, and we'll do a big, big one at some point. Collect the broken defender's components. Oh, wrong button, mate. Where are you going? You're not the game. See, there is a. Uh, Quest. Signpost. I now have this quest. Kill a chassis. Red reed pipe chassis. Okay. I'm assuming I'm going to get the broken sponge for these dudes as well. So. I do. Convenient.
So basically, this is how this is gonna run. I'm going to put out an arcade video a couple times a week. It's basically me gonna be playing this character. Checking it out to start. If you want me to look over anything in the first time, not this very exciting, but if you want me to do it, I'll be more than happy. Um, if you want me to show off the character creation. It's a very it's a very big to be honest the character creation. It's one of the biggest sort of put downs of the game. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Customization in the uh, operation side. I've got no mana. Yeah, all classes you have. Oh, oh, and I've died. First death. See, when you die, you just lose experience. Your items lose durability, can be repaired, experience can be regained. Now, there's no graveyard or anything like any other big big name MMOs. You just re appear here next to one of these temples which are all conveniently placed throughout everywhere. You pray to this statue, you lose some labour which is a big part of the game which we'll come on to in a bit when we get the farming up and running. And you just get a proportion of the uh, experience back. It's not all of it but it's a good majority of it. For example there I lost 770, I got 620 back. 616 back so we're, we're alright. We've even got our little loot to restore our health. So there's the character I'm currently playing as. You can customise the face quite well, the body and everything, everything from neck down really, you can't really touch, which is a bit of a shame, but... I think they may change it. There's been talk on the forums that they're going to look into it, but I wouldn't hold my breath. I mean, as I've said, it's only the alpha, so a lot of games don't let all of their features out in just the alpha. They bring it out in the beta, let everyone sort of have a go. Oh, cutscene. See, this is one of the better cutscenes. It involves your character. It's not rubbish, I suppose. Alright, so we've got a fine merchant recruiter, we've got to meet with the uh, shaman dude, which is probably here, yes, there, and we've got this quest here, which is just repair the broken blade with couriers. So we'll come get this done, and continue on. And we'll hope for the best day. Coincidentally, if there's any uh, games that you want me to play, stream and record and stick on here, you go up and play whatever you want, really. Uh, I've just recorded a video for the YouTube channel, which will be up probably in the next couple of days. Uh, depend again, depending on when you're watching this. Oh, these are the broken things I've got to repair, okay. So yeah, if you've any games you want to play, any amazing skills you want me to show off in Titanfall, you know. I'm so good at that game, I make uh, babies look good, to be honest. Onwards. The 
the uh, game starts to open up a bit for you. I mean, I know you get the farm at about 15. So that's Once we get the fire from running, we'll have, we'll have a good laugh. Just keep farming. And again, if there's any questions about the game, answer them for you. If you want to head over to the fire, you can Speaking of, I have yet to name my uh, pet. So we just roll past blowing the flu. I've yet to name this, so uh, if anyone's got a decent name for him, feel free to. Shout it at me. Yeah. Inappropriate here. Yeah. However you want. I realised I was killing all sorts of them when I had to kill specific time. Party up with me, you bastards! Alright, or not. Oh, as I do. Catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. That attack! It's like a force, that, isn't it? It's fantastic. Right, now I'm being attacked by him. I just killed him. Thing. Huh, I should really sort about. Think about getting my mana back. No, I don't have any of that. So I'm gonna stand here and wait for my mana to return. Have any potions? What I have? No. Two hundred two. Yet they're different potions. There you go. What's that? Erring! Stick that on. Because, yeah, they don't show. So, don't worry about wearing earrings. It's totally cool. That's what's, what's that? Uh, increasing max health. Yeah, I love that. What's this? Creates an energy shield for 9 seconds, converts 26% of magic damage to health. It's convenient. Hold up. There you go. Alright, so now I need to. Fat, you might get the. Uh... You might get the farm a bit early. Ooh, so we just got 31 minutes in prison. Lucky mate. Yeah, if you get put in prison, you do have to actually stay logged in for the sentence. You can't just go in prison and log out. You've got to stay logged in. So if you get 10 hours in prison, I feel sorry for your computer. Someone else has just got 48 minutes. So, so. Ah, it's the bus man. Have you got any buses heading this way? In fact, the one's just left. It's just crap, in it? Alright, on again. It's got lovely animations, I have to say. I have no idea how long this video is now. No idea at all. I wish I, I wish I could 
find out, but I can't, so fuck it. Watch now. Be uploading a three hour video that no one will watch. Ever. The lovely scenery. Bloody fantastic. As I said earlier about the day cycle, it's now 7.34 in the morning afternoon. Yeah, I don't know what the time. I, I assume it's the morning, it's not gonna be afternoon, is it? So yeah. So yeah, day and night cycle. Not sure how long the days are in relation to real time. Hopefully not the same, otherwise I've been playing for about three hours. I've only gained a level, so they'll do fantastic. Yeah, let's continue on with our next quest, which is in the Tiger Spine Mountains, which is where I accidentally teleported to earlier. Still only giving me. Although the, the the aesthetics of the armor is quite lovely. I mean, look at that. Collect flame hawk feather. They're all dead. <laughs> See, this is why everyone gets a bow. Shoot birds out the sky. I've always liked the idea of a tiger driving, riding a tiger. It makes so little sense, it's fantastic. Right, here we go. Continuing on our journey to level 7. I've got to watch a Korean cutscene with Korean subtitles. Yeah. A treat. If only I had a glider, it'd be fantastic. Oh, by the way, there's fall damage. Oh, by God, did my lion learn there was fall damage there? Jesus. Sorry, boy.
depending on how difficult it is to upload this to YouTube, I might just take them on Twitch and you can find them yourself. God. Why do things always attack me out of cloud? Oh, is it because I insulted the crack? Is that what this is? It's like a secret. This is a secret gang underground. It's a street countdown level, that is. New guild looking for more people. Pissed for invite. Well, may maybe I will piss you, but maybe I will. Hungry tiger. Uh oh. So we've learned that if you get near the orange names, they will chase after you. But you'll never catch my lion. Dead lion, tiger. Oh shit. <laughs> Should have known from the battle music. Chickens. This is a scarecrow that has had its tax paid. This is a scarecrow which hasn't. And this is a small turmeric of which. Uh, no, you know, I won't uproot it. I won't break the rules. Unless, of course, you want me to uproot it. <laughs> There's no point uprooting something. I don't get anything except experience. In fact, you know what? I will uproot it just to show you the amount of sheer experience you get from being a bastard. This is the experience you get from being a bastard. 174. That's a, that's a fair decent of experience for a second's work. You're just promoting bastardness. <laughs> I've fallen down a hill. I need to stop trying to kill my snow lane. As soon as we hit 12, I'll end the stream and I'll wait around for another day in which we will hopefully get our farming boots on, do some farming. In fact, we have just made it to the farming quest marker. So I'm gonna safely assume that it's farming time. Ah, where the hell's the well? Well? Oh, there we go. These are nice quest markers. When you finish the quest, there's a flower sprouts. When you've not finished the quest, it's a leaf. What are the waxy corn seedlings? This is top notch farming right here, guys. Top notch. Best kind of farming you'll ever see. And there we go, we're level 12. So I'm gonna leave it here at the farming people. In the next episode, we will do some farming. We will get our scarecrow and we will search far and wide for a place to plant said scarecrow. And I'm going to leave you now with a little dance. Oh, I feel just like 70s Batman. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. Wait. You got to do the Batman jump. You got to do the Batman jump. Oh yes, there it is. Ching. 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 Okay, I I'll leave you. I'll leave you now. Goodbye. Bye. Stop dancing. Say bye. Say bye. Oh, I can't even type. I've gone dyslexic. Bye. No, he just wants to dance. Yeah, okay. <laughs>